tell me another critical factor and where the investors are worried is your capital situation. Your TR1 capital has gone down, right? which also impacts your TR2, because you cannot raise more than 50 percent of TR1 as TR2 capital. So, you are constrained and you are uh, pleading with government to give more money in the form of uh, rights issue. Yes, uh, the tier 1 has come to 7.78 and even Basel requires it to be 6. So, compared to Basel, we are at a comfortable level and tier 2 anyway would become irrelevant in due course of time, because even Basel 3 when it comes would de-recognize or yes. ignore most of the tier 2. Now, see we are the flagship bank of the country and today whatever is the book value of the capital total is about 60,000 crores. So, government in a way has contributed about 34,000 crores out of that. So, government we will be going back to the government that every 4 years we will require additional capital in order. So, the last rights issue was done in 2007 and so now we will go back to the government for the next rights issue and government so far has supported all the nationalized banks in their capital raising. So, for SPI they would have a special place. Okay. <laughs> Say theoretically rights issue will happen and right, government will right. pick up 58 percent because that is the kind right. of government. That is the current so, understanding. Right. So, the 40 rest 42 percent is the investors, institutional investors and retail investors. After the shock that you have given them <laughs> through your four quarter results, how do you, you know, soothe their Fed norms and how do you bring back confidence to the investment investors community ahead of the rights issue? We are doing an analyst meet within a week from now to explain threadbare all the details. And if you look at the reward to the investors and if the price has fallen, the investors, the rights issue pricing would be adjusted accordingly. So, investors are not expected to overpay. And even looking to our book value, which is in excess of 1000 rupees, the share is quoted at around 2100, which is barely two times the book value. And mind you, SBI has not, uh, you know, <coughs> revalued any of its fixed assets. So, whatever capital we have is there for everybody to see. But that brings us to the question when you have plenty of something, you are not careful in using it. So, maybe we had a plenty of capital, a sure fit of capital and we were not very prudent. So, we will be doing, there are many other ways Tamal, I think we can transfer entire our export credit business to do it under ECGC guarantee. So, coming back to basic prudent banking, that is what you are saying. No, prudent banking more efficient, capital efficient banking. Oh. Capital, if you do not strew around capital for accounts which the utilization is low, then you try to go for more loans which are government guaranteed or ECGC guaranteed, therefore economize on No, capital. no plan for say stock split or something, most of the or many banks have gone uh, for to create more liquidity for the investors. Uh, we will look at that, but first you know the capital stock has to increase the form, the other things we in, follow. In, in, any other organizational change that you are contemplating which does not need any amendment uh, to the Yes, uh, I think because it is a time to introspect mm -hmm. and we are also looking that why our net interest margins are low, why our NPAs are low. Mm -hmm. So, down the line in the organization maybe we have not deployed enough resources or not handled them optimally. We did and are tinkering with the organization last two years back. So, we need to assess the impact, whether it had done the desired impact or if it had a negative impact, we may have to roll back some of the measures. Okay. I think the modular structure at the low zonal level, you are, uh, you are referring to that? Uh, that is under consideration and we are having wide ranging consultations with our people to see whether the modular structure was better or the current structure is better. You have but at the branch also, what has happened is, they used to have a concept of a manager personal banking in large branches. Right. Now, that having gone, there is a definite feedback that possibly customers are not having enough attention at the branch level. So, that would be my priority to get the manager personal okay. banking uh, back. Quickly, a few other things on your organization. You have merged two banks, two associate banks. Yes. and. Um, others bank are being merged, do we actually need the merger? Because anyway, you are you have a virtual merger, right? Even if we do not merge, every month we have to pump in rights issue into our subsidiary banks. Now, the subsidiary banks, because I have headed one myself, would require constant amount of capitals and in the current context, it is difficult for these banks to find a place under the sun.
So therefore, the economic rationale for merger is as strong as ever. But the other point is the ability because the merger cost has a cost in terms of profitability, merger has cost in terms of capital and merger is cost cost or the efforts in terms of rationalization of the work. So, we have just merged State Bank of Indore in 2010 and I think the normal lead time to think of the mass merger at all is 2 years. Okay. So, to before 2012 I think we should not fritter away our energy by okay. think of the next. Tell merger. me about your investment banking arm as well as insurance. You had plans to take them to the market. Is there any have you have you worked on that? See, investment banking does not require a lot of capital. So, not having enough capital is not a constraint, and in fact, they are giving back huge dividends to us, saying that why do you bloat our capital? But yes, insurance is a business which requires loads of capital. Now, on that, it would depend on what approach IRDA takes for taking our company public, but whenever it happens, I think our insurance company with the kind of track record would be a very, very welcome candidate in the capital market. Do we see this year, by the end of this year? I would not hazard a guess, it will depend on what position IRDA takes. In your first press conference, Mr. Chaudhary, after you took over, you raised the white flag vis-a-vis -vis the regulator. <laughs> you, you, you withdrew the diesel loan um, scheme. Tell us, is everything is fine? But I only said now? that we do not wish to be in a state of perpetual conflict with the regulator. It raised issues about corporate governance, it raised issues about quality of assets. Uh, it raised issues about capital adequacy and quality of asset is an ongoing thing. You get in any regulator or an auditor, you would have a different view on a number of assets, but they were not life threatening. Mm -hmm. But the whole approach is now of collaboration and understanding each other. And Reserve Bank of India has also told us that if you do not agree with some of our prescriptions or some of our observation, do not go to the press, you come to us, we will discuss it around, that is how it is done across the world. So, and a new chapter. So that is the way it should be. Thank you. Have a wonderful innings. Thank you very much.